What's up, Overtakers? Here we are, PJR today. We're down here to have a chat to Mick about his HQ. Yeah, another week of bringing you one-on-one -on -one, uh, car vids while we're uh, through this lockdown. The uh, pandemic. That, yeah, that is um, starting to have some restrictions lift. Mm -hmm. But um, we've got one-on-one -on -one vids. What are we checking out today again? HQ. HQ, Holden. So, you know, everyone knows I'm a sucker for a H-series, but uh, let's go and have a look at it. What, before, actually, before they, there's something they've got to do, right? Yeah, hit like, like, hit subscribe. The bell. Yep, hit the bell. Ring that the way bell. you get notified. Ding -ding. Get notified whenever we post a video, which is every Tuesday. Helps us out. We appreciate the support. Well, let's go have a chat to me. sitting here behind us mate and um, I'm really impressed by this uh, I must admit I mean, everyone knows I'm a sucker for a H series yeah. but uh, mate this is pretty immaculate how long have you owned it for six years roughly six years yeah, yeah. and um, mate, how much of the transformation has taken place while you've had it in that six years oh the whole thing yeah okay yeah. so it's yeah. been a, a is it a ground-up build yeah. to get, it is so yeah. full rotisserie no I Refuse to do rotisserie on purpose. Okay. And all building my shed by me. Yep. With the just with the theory that you don't need a rotisserie. You don't need that much money. You it can, can be build, done. It can be done with with desire. Yeah. Much. Okay. Now it's a beautiful paint job. The colour. What what is that one? It's, there's no name. It's um, YM two five three. <laughs> okay. That's the code. It's a bloody nice gold. It's, oh, with, with um. <laughs> can I call it gold? Yeah. 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 You'll accept yeah, that. Yeah. YM's uh, yellow metallic. Okay. And 243 is just a number. My yellow metallic 253. Yeah, right. And I it resented Beautiful. the number helped pick it. Uh, just against another part of something that matches in with the GM. Yeah. With a factory colour roof. Glacier, yeah. uh, glacier white? Uh huh. Whole car was factory glacier white. Now, uh, and then the interior when you get inside, now there's some subtle differences in that interior. So if people haven't already picked it from the pictures, I guess, do you want to talk us through that subtle change? Yeah, well, uh, I had a two-seat car before this, and then having a family, it was no good. So I really wanted to make sure I could have as many seats as possible. So I kept it six-seater. Yeah. Wanted to keep it. It's a Kingswood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, too many mockers going up for me. There's, there's more GDSs around now than what Holden actually made. Yep. So I wanted to keep with the Kingswood theory. Yes. Uh, Holden, you know. So that, that was my thing. That's so I kept it six-seat. Uh, nearly no structural mods to the car besides the flutes. Really. But those um, six seats, that upholstery, it, it looks like it's the bucket seat upholstery, yes, right? Yes, yeah, that's what all I wanted to do options that that look like could have been done by Holden. Yeah. You've got to second guess it at least. Yeah, definitely. It looks like it is a factory option. Like yeah. You would look at it, but then you're like, no, hang on, that's not a bench seat design. It, that's true. Yeah. yeah that's, so, that's what I was aiming for. Yeah. Well, the, the, I was so close to putting buckets in it, and it was like, I want six, but I want buckets, and then I just went, well... Made it look the way... Try, yeah, try to get the comfort of a bucket 
Yep. With the versi- the look of a bucket, but with the versatility of six seats. Yeah, that's no, brilliant. And uh, column shift. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what have we got under the bonnet? 383. 383. So yeah, had a chef, little, chef Stroker. Yeah, had a little bit of work done there as yeah. well. Uh, yeah, 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 a little bit. Nothing nothing too major. A little bit of compression, a little bit of cam intake. Yep. A uh, bit of head work, just the standards really. Uh, and nice t- and torque. Turbo 350. Turbo 350. Uh, yep. And still running 10 bolt. Yes, okay. 10 bolt, just a ton of axles, uh, bigger wheel studs, just to try and break the bits that break easier. Yeah. Uh, to stop the bits that break easy. Yep, yep. Yeah, I'm you with know you. what I mean. Sorry. Um, and now, when you got it, that motor is that out of something? You know, did you get a 350 and build that, or was it in it, or was it? No, no, no. It's a six-cylinder auto. Um, yeah. So you just stroked small block chef that, yep. I got, I got, that I got a hold of with that gear. I got it as a package, but I pulled it down and altered it. Yeah. Okay. And you've done all that in your shed at home as well. Uh, yeah. Everything I could. Yeah. Yes. Like balanced and all the machine work done by the professionals, and then yep. assembled by myself, uh, built by myself. Okay. Made by myself. Now. This gets out and about and cruises with the family in there, so uh, and that was your aim. Yes, yeah, yeah, 100. So yeah. It, I wanted, to, I wanted something as sort of tough as I could on a budget that my missus could drive and feel like it's still a 202 auto sort of. It yeah. cruises like a six. Yeah, okay. But but it goes a lot quicker than a six. And is yeah. it still okay on fuel when you're Unreal. cruising? Unreal. Yeah. Unreal on fuel. Like I'm guess I'm just calculation maybe about 14 litres under. Yeah, right. Cruising. Okay. Yeah. I can go like Goldie to Narang Bar to Lakeside. Like laps around Lakeside today, drive home under tank. Yeah, how good's that? Yeah, it's done un- real. That's with a 750 on. Now, was it your first uh, Holden, mate? Or oh, I couldn't tell you how many, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but Honestly, okay. no. It'd have to be ones that I loved. I've owned a lot, but ones that you, you know, your personal ones. Uh, I'd have to be number 20-ish, yeah, somewhere okay. around there. Somewhere so you've had a few there. nice ones. Yeah, over so the between years. me and my wife. She's yeah, had, she's had a heap too. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And is this the only one in the stables at home, mate, at the moment? No. No, no, okay. No, EH wagon. Oh. Yeah, 179, Trimatic. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's another still beautiful mate. cruiser. Yeah, awesome little car. Yeah. Very original still. Like most of the paint still, are, well, hasn't had paint work. Most of it's fallen off, but it's just yeah, mainly yeah. bare metal with, with, that, with that sandpaper added. Right, okay. And is it is that his and hers? Or? Oh, it's hers. Yeah, that's hers. He fixes it, she drives it. Oh, yeah. actually, well, I, I drive it, I drive it more than she does. But yeah, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. I'm Num- number plates say it says. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah. And uh, is that just those two at the moment? Yeah. Yeah, the sort moment. of. There's always. other, there's oh, there's other always things. One, there's always one on the go. I'm looking. <laughs> We're going to wait and I'm see. I'm always looking. Yeah, yeah, always looking. All right. Now, I guess what are the other ones that stand out that you've had over the years? You said you've, you've oh, had, um, you know, 20 my, great ones that you my, my really CMA, love. My CMA Newt. Oh, HX, okay. Yeah. HX, uh, square nose CMA Newt was, was pride and joy in my whole of anything other than that. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Missed that. Yeah, yeah. Did you let it go for two, not enough? Oh, no, no. I, I nearly set records at the time. It oh, went, okay. Went, so that's went right. for really good money at the time. It wasn't one of those stories that we all have where we shouldn't have sold it. No, 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 no. It's done wonders for my life. It helped, me, it helped make the next build, so, you know, use the money wisely and it makes everything in the future even easier. No, that's a good story. Yeah. All right. Um, what about the first one? Well, the first H- with the Holden? HZ panel. HZ panel vent? That's a good car. place to start. Yeah. That, was, that was your first car? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kept every, Aim was to, I just had my learners, dad gave it to me. It's uh, just need a rust work fixed and a few things done, but I uh, just kept playing and playing and it ended up riding a push bike to work for three years because every time I thought I'd get it close, I'd want to change something else. You know, five speed, sleek, sleek a box, just keep, oh, I'll put a cam at the motor out. Then. So, and was it an eight or? No, no, six? 202. 202. 202, uh, 202 Pretty factory. Yeah, yeah, but. Just every time, I must have lied like riding BMXs to work, eh? The <laughs> fellow, I just, I, in the end, I sold it. I got it so close to Reg, I sold it to get my first real one I really love. It was my HJ Premier. Yeah, okay. Yeah. There you go. So, yeah. um, now, that was your first car. So, you know, that's a... That's my first registered car. First registered car. First love, loved registered car. Yeah, okay. Was there, one, was there any unloved ones in there? Was there, any, was there oh, any, no, no panel man in between, like just transportation every now and then. Nothing no. too embarrassing, though, hey? We can get you on. Technically my first car ever, I bought it off a maker's breakdown, I took it home, didn't touch it, sold it at the wreckers. I paid 50 for it and sold it for 90, it was a Mini. Oh, okay. 70, 76 Mini, but that's, that's, <laughs> that's realistic, my first real car, but first ever car, but never did anything with it. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I, I got it home because it was there for sale, 50 bucks, I'll take it. Um, yeah, and just could, I couldn't bring myself to work on it. <laughs> Dad had the panel van in the yard all the time still, and I'm like... Iron it off. <laughs> looking at the Mini, looking at the panel van, I'm like... 
I don't want to work on that. Worlds apart, yeah. that's for sure. Two broken CVs, broken gearbox selectors. He couldn't even drive it. Oh. So it was just, had to go. But you made money on it, hey? I nearly doubled my money. <laughs> and that's where my passion for cars sort of... That's my next question. Where, where does the passion for cars start? Oh, my, my dad was a rust proofer in, in Holland. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he'd come to Australia. Uh, panel beater, rust proofer, or painter, rust proofer. Just, just handyman in general with cars. And, uh, it just sort of started there and mates, just mates. It really, it's, it's about that. Yeah. Always been. And you just sort of got your mechanical knowledge from that over the Mate, time. Mates. Mates and just we had doing to, we stuff had to, together. We, we didn't want to wait. We'd have to figure it out. We didn't have the money. We only, you know, earning a couple hundred bucks a week. Yep. Just had to figure it out. Yeah. Or one of your mates' dads might have done a re-ring one time in the back shed with his mates and we'd go around and ask him some questions. Oh, you'll be right, you know, and grab a book, and follow it, the manual. and It's, it's a always been a hobby a sideline for you it's yeah. not a trade or no, anything no, like that no, no, I, don't no. Think, I don't know if I could do it for trade yeah I think it'd, it might it might take the enjoyment out yeah maybe uh, that, I, 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 I really enjoy building cars the car like at home when I you never find me happier than when I'm tinkering uh, balls, in the balls, balls, balls deep in the project like right yeah. in the guts it looks like there's too much to do you're starting to worry can I get through it can I get the parts can I get the money and in all honesty that's, that is when I'm probably at my element yeah and Look, I'm looking here thinking there's really nothing more you can do here, right? Is there? Yeah, there's always something you can. <laughs> uh, I, sh- I shouldn't touch it. It should be left as is. It is It is gorgeous. I, yes. I, yeah. I, possibly I, a wheel change. Possibly. Yeah. But, oh, and I don't, thinking about a bigger store converter. Yeah. Yeah, just just to make it a little more fun. Yeah. doesn't get driven as much now that I put it on Club Rego, so it yeah. doesn't need to be as practical for the wife. That's and good. she's got a reaction she needs it, so there you go. didn't have that when I built this. So. Yeah, I mean, I, look, I, I think it's good. And, um, uh, you know, do you think it, it'll be something you would hang on to right through and pass down to the kids later, or, or you don't think it'll last that long and there'll I, be another I, project? It's, if I had space, I probably wouldn't have sold many of the cars. Yeah. It's space, so yep. I, I can never say never to anything. Yeah. Ideally, you keep it forever. Yep. Ideally, kids want it. My oldest wants it. Yeah. I still the, the old original 202 auto was still around. My friends got it. I still got the original diff cross members exhaust. So I have thought about mm. giving it to her back as a six cylinder when, she, when she's old enough. Yeah. Thought about it, but you just don't know what'll happen between now and then. Look, you know. <laughs> I didn't want to sell my Sandman until the right person kept off, kept kept nagging me for the right price, and, and it's a shame that that's the case. But yeah, you know, it can help change a decision. A decision only has to be around for a couple of seconds, and the deal's done. Yeah, that's true. But How long ago did you get rid of the, the uh, Sandman? 2011. 2011. Yeah, so it's a little while now. So it's yeah. uh, well and truly gone. Bought it before children. Yeah. Built it. Finished it during two children. Oh. So we we couldn't use it. Yeah. Yeah. Two seater. Yeah. Uh, just couldn't use it. And that, that that was the majority of the reason behind it. Okay. Now, there's a massive passion for Holden. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Um, why Holden for you? Because I had two Ford mates, I suppose, and a cross a friend. So, so you had to be different. I think I think that's where it started. You needed the banter. I think, I think you would have to. You have to. <laughs> it's have to. It's, it's what. It, if it wasn't for the banter, I don't think we would have continued. It's, <laughs> I, I, two friends lived with me and my dad growing up, uh, both Ford guys, and one of their dads was a cross in there. Who drove a Holden? Yep. Um, but it just, it just, it, it gave us. A, I don't know. Five hours sleep every night, and you still woke up keen just to give each other shit. <laughs> and it's what got you back in the shed. And we worked together, you know. Always, if his car needed fixing today to get to work, we'd be there like all night. It's yeah. just, it didn't matter whose it was or what it was. You just, you done it. You done it together. That's good. And you got to, yeah, definitely. It's more fun if you've got the banner and take the piss out oh, of each of other while you're doing it. And, of course. Yeah, enjoy it. Of course. Yeah, it wouldn't be broken if it was holding, and then you're fixing yours the next day. You know. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You know, it's, that's that's the it's what you do. It's... Mate, well, it's perfect. I, I think uh, the next step for us is probably to get out and go for a cruise. Yeah, cool. You, you have to take me for a run, yeah. so I can, uh, you know, just hop in someone else's car and go for a run. That's what I do. Yeah. yeah why not? <laughs> so take us for a drive. It feels expensive these days. <laughs> yeah, <it laughs> drive does. someone else's. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Thanks, Vic. Let's go. No
overtakinglane.com.au. That's where you want to go. Jump on there, grab some merch, uh, check out the Binder Car Care products, anything else that we bring into range over the next coming weeks. And um, what else you got to do? You got to like, subscribe. All those things. Hit that bell. Jump on uh, Facebook, Discord, all the above. What cars do you want to see? Tell us what you want to see in the next couple of weeks. We hope you enjoyed uh, another Holden. Um, I know I did. <laughs> but let us know. Is there something else we've got to get out there and shoot? And, uh, or have you got something that we should come along and have a look at? So let us know. We are based in Queensland. We can travel 50 k's at the moment from the Gold Coast. Hopefully that restriction's off in the next couple of weeks. But uh, let us know what you want to see in the coming up videos. Mm -hmm. What else well, you got? Well, how good was the story? We didn't even talk about the story. Yeah, it was a great story. Mm -hmm. Hey, I think, uh, and that's what it's all about, is checking out the actual story behind the build as well, isn't it? You yeah. know? And um, we're hoping you're enjoying that. Mm -hmm. hmm. well, that's pretty much it. Maybe we need to do a build. I wonder what we could do. I don't know. We needed something, what maybe. Would we build? I don't know. Something cheap? Some white. Something like wrong wheel? I don't know. We'll think of it. Mm. Let's think about something. Yeah. Anyway, catch us in the next one. And uh, stick in the lane on the right. <laughs> See you guys.